Nothing in the fire service is, is typical or normal. Uh, we work odd hours, we work extremely long hours. It's a job that requires you to be very present and act on your feet. And it's also a job that pushes you to the limit. You're there to take a bad situation and make it better and handle really large emergencies. As a firefighter, you're gonna be faced with the challenge of staying up for 36 hours or 46 hours. The fire's not gonna rest. There's no hotels, it's not glamorous, you know? You have a job to do, you get paid to do a job, you get paid to work hard. They're gonna give you a nice field away from the fire, whether it's dirt or grass, or, that's your chance to sleep. You're gonna want a bedroll because it allows you to sleep. It's common sense to to have one of these always. Fire departments across the nation should have these bedrolls as a tool, just like any other tool. It's not gimmick, it's the real deal. The best part of these bedrolls is the fact that you can sleep anywhere. It's just that one chance that you get. It's, it'd be so nice to just grab my pack, grab my tools, and hey, I got a bedroll, I can just roll it out anywhere and it's gonna work. But aside from fire rescue, I mean, I would love to have them at the house for any disaster, for my kids, for my family, my wife. But I think they're a, a huge asset to families across the nation for disaster, period. I initially started getting these for, for my boat. The conditions out on the water, out at the island, it can get, get real quick, and it's really the only thing that's gonna last. You're not gonna sleep out there in a sleeping bag, the canvas material of them, the fact that they're waterproof and so durable, that is why they work. That is why it isn't gimmick.